YouTube, what's up? It's another gameplay. This just regular mutt seasons. And this one's a little fun, man. Every once in a while, you run into somebody that kind of got a clue what they're doing. They're running the nation. They're running the meta. They're... So this guy was in tight flex and, you know, 335 odd trying to contain me and stuff. Sometimes you got to let them know that daddy's home. You know, you got to just style on them and embarrass them. And that's pretty much my goal when I go into every single mutt season head-to-head -head game is just to embarrass somebody on the other side of the sticks. Because I feel like I should be that much better than everybody playing mutt head-to-head -head seasons. Now, if you ever, ever catch these games live, the link to the Twitch is below. You can watch me play live. Pretty much streaming every day now since the games came out. Having a lot of fun playing Mutt. Any offense you see in this game, any defense you see in this game can be found in Manter. Those links are below as well. Make sure you copy that Saints ebook offensively. You'll see what I do to 335i and what I do to contain blitzes. Also, make sure you cop that defense. I'll show you guys how I defend tight flex and how I make it hard on my opponent. As you see here, I mean, you don't know he's going to come out tight flex till he does, but then he audibles out into this, uh, what should we call it, to four wide or something. Hits a little inside zone. We'll, we'll slow that down a little bit better as the game goes on. That's not going to keep working. As you see the next play, boom, Sean Taylor. I use a Sean Taylor at linebacker. Sean Taylor and Cam Chancellor play linebacker for me. Here he goes, no huddle. This guy's no huddle. I think no huddle is just like a childish, I don't It just it just pisses me off when people no huddle. And he fits that ball in there over Sean Taylor. Look, it's just, I, we, Sean Taylor got to make a play on that. Here we go, we get a sack. Vic breaks it, rolls out with Clowney, looking for somewhere to go. Clowney so fast hits him, and that's why we put tip drill on our DBs. Even the ones that are blitzing Champ Bailey with a huge play, thanks to, you know, Jadavion Clowney being an absolute savage. I mean, they asked me, if there's one must player on defense, it's got to be Clowney. I mean, that my clowny right now has 85 speed, so he was able to actually, like, miss a hit stick and still run back and get Vic and cause that tip pick six. Tip pick six on the first play is fun, man. Or on the first drive is great. It means I get ball at half. I already got a stop and a score. Shoot. Here he goes. Then this tight flex, I'm going to make him get rid of the ball real fast. You're going to make a decision real quick. That time his drag got bumped behind the line of scrimmage. Actually helped him out a little bit. You know I said? We're sending the dogs every play. Ooh. See, Boye right there needs tip drill, and that's a pick. Jeez, and once again, Sean Taylor, we got to jump and go get that kid. You know, we, you got to grow some nuts and jump and go get the ball, Sean Taylor. Like I said, every time he passes, he's going to have to make a read right away or get sacked. That's pretty much how I play tight flex. But this is a cute little play. He ran out of uh, three wide or four wide. Should have stayed on a deeper route there. It's one of my one of my pet peeves is going after the short route, and that's what I did right there. But we got him inside the 10. This is where I like it because, you know, the field shrinks. We can hold him to three. I got seven already. If you hold him to three, it's huge right here. Throws it out there. Pat P. I like Pat P to put both hands out there and pick that off. But here goes on thirds down. Cooks up a little curl. Sean Taylor blasts. I think that's Julio Jones. Julio Jones held on to that tough catch by him. Not mad at the play. Nice little sneaky dot up. I need a drop right there. Though. I mean, it was a real tough catch, but his player made it for him. So, at 7-7, seven, seven, the whole first quarter going, I have not played offense yet. Here you go. We see him running a little uh, loop right here, crossfire out of 3-5 three, three, odd. We're able to hit the flat route. That's my way to the flat route to stay still so I didn't catch it and run out of bounds. Got me five yards. That's pretty good. Here we go. Hit the post over the middle. Got that T.Y. Hilton primetime performer upgraded. 92 speed on him with playmaker, the route running, and the spin move. I'm over to hit him in the flats over here. He makes a good tackle. He broke the tackle, but it was a good enough animation for somebody to come from behind it and tackle me. Then we go hit Ty Gurley in the flats. Once again, man, if you want this Saints ebook to find a way to get your superstar running back at tight end, check the links below. They're in there. Le'Veon Bell is my main halfback that I run the ball with. Able to get three yards there. I go down here and get some points. They're going to hit the curl over here to Tyreek Hill. Bang, he catches that inside the five. We're going to get the ball to Le'Veon. He gets cracked right there. Now, what I do, I put my running back on aggressive, so he fights a little bit for me. He just carried the pile right there into the end zone. Le'Veon Bell, huge job getting a touchdown inside the five. I say it time and time again, games are winning inside the five, man. Threes and sevens. Able to put my running back on aggressive and go ahead and get a seven right there. That's big. Up seven, get ball ahead. This is a huge possession. There he goes. Hits the wheel route to Moss, something he was kind of using most of the game. That wide receiver cross play with wheel route there. Here we go, get a sack. Right side covered the wheel right that time, went cover two and got a sack by Boye. Once again, blitzing everybody, throws it up. Pat Pete. It's a reason he has an emote. My man is a goon. And we're going to get by everybody here. Whoop. Want to hit a little juke on the fat guy? He can't catch me. Barry Sanders, you're too weak, man. You're not going to tackle me. 
Well, you're not going to tackle. Jump, jump. Oh, almost got there. Got there to the three. Pat Pete, man. Once again, Le'Veon Bell. How's that not a touchdown? But, you know, we'll keep him on aggressive. We go girly aggressive here. Gets tackled on fullback dive. He's using his timeouts. Once again, that time, curly on aggressive. Trucks Linval Joseph in the end zone. Both my running backs came up with big uh, plays for me to get touchdowns. So it's 21 to 7. If they didn't make this play, no matter how much I dominated this game, it could have been 13 to 7 if I was kicking field goals there. Crazy play here. He tries to move, sort of ball bounce in the end zone. I get the perfect bounce, and the, the fat white guy picks it up. Now he's on the one yard line. What happens? I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring the crib. It's really hard to pass down here. The camera gets weird, and you don't know really. <laughs> it's not what you're used to. They go should have fired a pick there. Swatted down complete. Once again, we're bringing the dogs. Should have fired another pick there. Jalen Ramsey beats it up. We actually get him to punt. Go punt return normal. I'm just waiting for a return. But Roquan Smith says, you know what? I want to dive through the center and block this punt into the end zone. Never saw this before. If you've seen a replay here, he just jumps through the center and blocks it. Center recovers for his safety. Crazy play. So you know I'm going to style him now. It's getting ugly now. Whoop! No. And I get crushed by that guy. Just having fun now at this point, man. I feel like this guy has, has no chance to win the game. He's not going to move the ball in tight. Not going to stop me in 3-3-5 three, three, odd. Here I'm just throwing the ball up, trying to make a play. Luckily, Tyreek Hill made the tackle, but I'm up 16 and a half. I'm getting the ball. Feel great. I mean, I love playing these kids that, that almost have a clue what they're doing. They're just a notch below good, pretty much. And, uh, you know, sometimes you got to let them know what it's like to be, be in the jungle with a real lion. So I'm up 16 now. Any points on this will end this game pretty much. I feel like this game is over anyway. Here goes Blitz in the crib. I mean, I'm actually able to hit the delay route there. He misses the hit stick and Todd Gurley. Get busy a little bit. Go ahead and get a nice little 16-yard gain. Todd Gurley on a delay route. And here we go again. We'll hit this little comeback route over here to T.Y. That guy, nice little spin move. Fumbles, but you know, Todd Gurley. I keep Todd Gurley a tight end. Not a tight end. He's fast enough to get down there and recover fumbles. No, but it, it, Q's recovery there by uh, T. Gurley to keep this game alive. And this is the play of the game. We're on choop, whoop, back to Gurley, whoop. I mean, you that's why they watch. That's why they watch on Twitch. That's why they watch on YouTube. We make plays like this. You know, we're going to put the whole circus out here on the field. Just embarrass kids. Hit them with that. Flip it over back to my man, Ty Gurley. Hit them with a two step spin move, and we're out of there because Ty Gurley has 91 speed. That's why we put him in tight end to make plays like that. And that's why you watch. Twitch link is below. Make sure y'all hit the like and comment on if you've seen a play better than that one this year. So now the game's getting ugly. Next play, Lurk City. He ran that play earlier. Wouldn't get me again with it. Picked him off. So we're just piling it on now. Next play out the back. He tries to get a cute double flash to the side. Hit a fade to Moss. So now this guy's all the way underwater. Nowhere to breathe, nowhere to go. It's 37 to 7 real quick in the second half. Once again, we're sending the dogs. He's able to throw the ball underneath. Let's get a strip. Nah, Ramsey almost got that ball out of there. Now we're just trying to we're just trying to embarrass him more and more every play. He goes boom. Actually hit, the, hit actually hits the uh corner route there. Pat Pete can't rip the ball out. Bring the dogs again. Underneath. Pat Peterson makes it tap. Pat Peterson needs to be on everybody's team. Throws underneath again. Tyreek Hill, he gets crushed by Dawkins. I feel like if I hit somebody like that out of bounds, it's worth it. That time he just snapped and pressed the button, pretty much. Now we're calling the dogs off a little bit here. He runs PA pull shot. Probably the first time in the game he's ran that play because I've been blitzing so many people. It's so hard to run that play when someone's blitzing this many people at you. Well, once we get him inside the 10 here, he gets he throws this high. Those are normal as a touchdown. He throws it high with Vic. Nothing there. Tries to throw the curl like he did in the first half. Vic kills him on that one. Here he goes again. Two curls. Nothing to go out. Box it all up. Playmakers. He you knows catching that pass. Me, not him. Sean Taylor with the ball. Like I said, that's who I use her. 89 speed, the agility, the height, the hip pocket Get off of me, fat guy. Vic, get off of me, but I'll step out of bounds. No big deal. I don't really need the ball that bad. Here we go again. This time, Le'Veon Bell actually gets dogged by the corner right there. The corner puts Le'Veon Bell right back into my face. And here we go again. Michael Vick, we're going to take off. Had the first down, but you know what? <laughs> I'm going to get it again. I don't need it. I'll get it again. Style with Vic out of bounds. Go ahead here to a third down. This time, Le'Veon Bell, great, great pass protection. And throw the dot to T.Y. Hilton. Goes over his head. Jeez. I mean, if this game was close, I'd be upset right now. I would hit the slant. We're going to pitch it to my running back. No, but, you know, T.Y. decides he wants to pitch it to a fat guy, and we actually turn the ball over. First time I turned the ball over all game. 
Here we go. Back to him snapping and throwing drags. That's all he got right now. Except we're throwing a knee to Tyreek Hill. Rips the ball out. Recovered. Uh, I think it's Brian Dawkins with the ball out. And that's all he had. I mean, all the other embarrassing things. He sat through that. But that one fumble was the reason he quit. Crazy. It was fun playing that game. I had a lot of fun. I like to have fun playing the game. And that's pretty much what I did this game. Throwing the ball around out there. Styling. Just swagging on people. That, that's what makes the mud head to head fun for me. So you want to check it out live, please, the link is below for the Twitch. Hit the like button. Hit the comment on it if you've seen a better play than that pitch play. I had That play was crazy to me. All right, y'all. I appreciate it. Dude.